Hello everyone, I'm Helen. Today I'm going to show you how I painted these beautiful gemstones or diamonds uh, with watercolor. In this video, I'm going to draw the gemstones or the diamonds with the artificial cuts. Uh, they are not the uh, mineral status. You can find some reference photos uh, for your first try. Because no matter what kind of diamonds you're going to draw, you need to understand the basic shapes of the uh, diamonds or the gemstones. Uh, especially each of the gemstones, they have different cut designs. Uh, so it's better that at the beginning you have some reference photos to, um, you know, to give you some uh, clues. So here with my sketch, you can uh, see some uh, structures within the diamonds. And there are three diamonds we're going to draw within this video. And they are all in uh, very uh, common shapes. The first one is a diamond shape. And the second one will be the um, heart shape. And the third one is a water drop shape. So the purpose that I draw all these details on the sketch level to you is because first I want to show you the basic structures within the diamonds and second I'm going to use all these detailed lines as the guidelines uh, when I do the uh, coloring later. So let's start coloring the first layer of these three diamonds. So first one I want to make it a red color, and second one I want it blue, and third one I want it green. So for the first layer, I want the color to be uh, as light as possible. So I brush a layer of water to them first, and then to add the colors to them. So before I start coloring the details within the diamonds, I should make sure that my first layer is getting completely dried. Based on the basic structure of the first diamond, you can see that the cuts uh, or the surface is uh, they are triangles. Uh, they are not small triangles, but they are big triangles. So when you're coloring the red color to it, uh, you should following this um, basic shape. And now is the time that you can use the guidelines from your sketching. Make sure that each surface, triangle surface that you add uh, into these diamonds, at least one edge uh, is on a uh, guideline so that you won't make it, uh, make it some strange angles uh, in the end. If you have a reference photo and you can see that uh, the surfaces that between each other, uh, they have some difference. Uh, so that some of them have a uh, gradient, uh, so that maybe one of the edge, uh, one of the edges is supposed to be uh, stronger or um, you know deep, deeper color. And then also, they're not triangles only. Uh, there are polygons. Uh, so you can just uh, follow the guideline and then make some 
uh, polygon shapes on it as well. Also, you can find there are some black colors, black look colors uh, in your reference photo if you have one. That is because the, the shape of this diamond and also is because uh, the light reflection of it uh, and also sometimes is um, related with your environment. If you have a black color background and then the black spots will be more than this. Uh, so give it some black uh, to the shadows and you can see that some of the get lines is showing up strongly and some of the get lines is hard to see. Uh, so give some uh, the stronger get lines some uh, black color. With the black color added in, and you can find that your lightest surface are getting brighter, very shiny. first diamonds, we use red color only. Uh, the color difference is because we uh, add different amount of water. Uh, so it has some light, lighter red and some deeper red colors. And also we use black color for its shadow. And, and the second diamond, we are going to use different blue tones uh, to its different cuts. And the second diamond cut surface is definitely very small, so it must be very shiny in the end. So for this one, we need more patience. So everything is the same as the first diamonds we did. Uh, the second one, all the cuts at, uh, need to be all based on a guideline. Uh, and you can see that I'm trying to create different uh, polygons, different shape of the polygons uh, with the different uh, color tones. So this is very important. Uh, you know, you can make it all the same. The surface all the same is, is boring. And uh, what I should remind you guys is that uh, from the very beginning, you should uh, be careful the lightest uh, part, which is the highlights cut surface, you should leave that alone. Uh, not too much, but it's supposed to have some, so that uh, is the lightest part of your diamond. Uh, after you added the deepest color to it, and then the, the, the lightest surface will be shiny. I forgot telling you guys uh, that I added the shadow to the first diamonds just now before I started the second one. Uh, the, the reason that I added this um, red color shadow, uh, first is because this is a, the, the gemstones supposed to be radiate some of his colors to the environment. And second is that at, uh, by adding this sh shade, the shadow shade, uh, these diamonds look more 3D realistic. It's just like you put a uh, gemstone on this paper. So that's the reason I added the, uh, sh the, the shadow. And also I'm going to sh add the shadow to the second diamond and my third diamond.
Another diamond is a little bit different from the other two. Uh, you can see when I was doing the sketching, uh, in the, I put the guidelines, the cut surface shape is the diamond shape is instead of triangle shape. So that it, this is the difference, but everything else is the same. So this diamond is in a water drop shape. Uh, and then the cut surface, I'm going to use different tones of greens and also leave the uh, highlight surface at the beginning. You can see that sometimes I added some water uh, between two different uh, cut surface, surfaces. Uh, that's, uh, I'm doing the water dye, dyeing or, or water shading process uh, to make the color transformed smoothly uh, so that uh, that is all what I do with to draw these three diamonds This is all I can tell you guys uh, how I uh, painted diamonds by using the watercolors. I hope my video can give you some inspiration. Painting with watercolors needs a lot of patience uh, and needs a lot of practices. So if you like these shiny bling bling uh, gemstones, you can do the practice by your own and then you can feel within the process of painting uh, how to control your watercolor, how to control the result of drawing by your watercolor on your uh, watercolor papers. So just keep on trying. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If you like it, please give me a like and follow me with my YouTube or my Instagram. So see you next time. Bye!